Just a quick intermediate, they're doing some sewing and drilling next door, so it might be noisy. Um, but we've got, as you can see, I've got like the, uh, these are the magnets. And what I've done is I've read on the software to a six step. And I've also changed the way the buttons work, so I can now just simply do a single sequence and it stops. And I can do a single. See? And uh, so you can see. There you go. So I'm not quite sure if it's because I know the sound is slightly out on these vids, uh, but you can see that's the actual. So obviously seven, right? And uh, there's the intermediate step. So that's six steps. And if I actually do the, uh, you can see. There you go. See, so it lines up. And well, obviously these these are the magnets. And then we've got our reed switches and it appears that the best way to mount the reed switches is basically so that they're over a top they're over the top of the magnet like that that's when it's actually I've got one I've got one connected up so what I've done is I've connected one up here to an LED and uh, so if you stick it onto a, a magnet there we go LED on see okay and if you sit it over the top of it like that then it seems to be best so that if I right okay so there off, see, and if I move it on top of it, on, and if I move it to the side, the width of the tape, off again, see, so it will turn on and then off for the width of the tape, and conveniently enough, if you look, <laughs> width of the tape is the space, so it's it's pretty much exactly right, because then that means that it's going to, it's basically it's going to actuate the, uh, oh, that's interesting, um, it's going to actuate as it passes it, and when it moves on to the next one, the next reed will switch on and this one will switch off. So it should work out very well in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's obviously the stepper sequence. It's wobbling a bit because of the inertia. And I've put, what I've done is I've put rings there. And as the magnets pass over the top, they kind of break it a little bit so that it it holds it from oscillating too much. Yeah. Got some control over it now. See, so I can press one button and make it just do the simply a seven, you know, the six fa six phases sequence. So it does a rotation, and then what I do is I hold another button down, and then I start the sequence. And as I release, it moves it on to the next one. There you go. It's just to control it, so I can see, basically, so I can mark this up, <laughs> so I can see how it works. And uh, yeah, but I'll be obviously removing that. And that's a standard six-step sequence. Okay, twelve will be a bit too fine-grained, and we possibly we'd have twelve anyway because as it passes between the two points to there, it's going to have two of them turned on. And if you look, right, okay, so it will then switch that one on, right, and then switch that one off, which is how the twelve-step works. I think. Yes, it is, isn't it? So you end up kind of with, because you have the intermediate step because of when it passes between two points. You know, as in two of those green lines. I'll put two on, I'm sure. Yep, so, but I don't think we'll have any relays frying because obviously it'd have to have all of those three on, I think. Yeah, because then you'd have positive and negative turned on here. And that would then, so if all three of those were turned on at the same time, then you'd have a, a shoot through the relays. I mean, you know, the relays. But then that means it would have to, that means that if you're at that point, you would have all of those three on. But that, at the moment, it doesn't seem it happens like that. Or it possibly will be momentarily. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Because we're just doing an electromechanical. When you have the whole effects, obviously you can tune the whole effects because you can just move them back a bit. <coughs> And it'll work then. Mm. Hey ho, see what happens here.